Yeah. Right, so I have a friend of a friend that was uh, asking about what to do about when you have shoulder pain when uh, yeah. you're well, back with specifically for jujitsu when you've got a very low stance here, all right, and you're grip fighting, you go like this, you're just pulling people around. This puts a lot of tension on the shoulder, and unlike a lot of your other joints where you've got tendons and bone covered by muscle, in your shoulders, it's a much looser joint. So there's a lot of space, and there's bone that is essentially very close to bone. So if you have an impingement and that starts to get inflamed, this is a very difficult movement to do to, to basically bring this out under tension or here. So some a better alternative might be considering uh, to have an upright posture, more like a judo posture. So that's one of the reasons that, that I was commenting. So one of the things that we can do, instead of doing complex grip fighting or anything like that, we can simply come out in an upright posture, allow our opponent to get their power hand on, which is usually a no-no. Okay, usually we want to attack the power hand and push it into the hip. But if you have a difficulty uh, with grip fighting your shoulders, this would be an okay alternative. So they come in, they grip, and if they start to get that low posture, instead of following them down, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to reach behind the elbow, and we're going to pull this through, okay? And then we're going to get it behind the back. Like this. Okay, so now in this scenario, okay, I'm in a very comfortable position. This is the position that my arms normally hang out in. Okay? And he's broken down, and I got a lot of attacks here. One of the questions was about, well, what about overhook attacks? So if I have like a wizard or something like this, okay, these are okay, but if you're gonna be really technical about it, I don't like any grip that lets my partner have it behind the back because if he gets my other sleeve, okay, he can he can throw me. Whereas with this particular sequence. When I pull this arm across and I hug it tight to my chest, all right, he doesn't really, he needs to escape from this position. He doesn't have any attacks from me. So a couple of things that we can do. One is that if his foot is forward like this, all right, I can immediately go backwards and slide my foot out behind him. And I can come up into a mount position. Okay. I can also attack this leg, and when he moves it out of the way, I can switch directions and I can go into a sumigaish. If I come in and I attack that leg and he doesn't move it, okay, I can release this sleeve grip, I can dive in between the legs and do a victor roll. Right into a knee bar. And then lastly, okay, if I feel that uh, I need to make a big show, I can step across and I can throw him with a hip throw. So I'm here, I'm breaking him down, I release that pressure, come across. And sink right down. So Unlike the overhook sequences, you have a lot more from here, and it's a lot less dangerous from a counter perspective. Keeping that posture gives you a nice ability to not put a lot of tension on your shoulders. So I hope that helps everybody. Have a good one.